Welcome to Lydia's cooking show. I'm going to prepare some garlic and cheese sausage, fingerling potatoes and onion, a little bit of garlic, some more onion, Spanish style with pimenton, albergina olio, voted the number one oil in Spain, some fine French sea salt, some Malabar black pepper from Costco, so on and so forth. So first, let's oil the pan lightly because the sausage will have some fat in it and we don't want that fat to overpower the dish. Who doesn't like a little pork fat? Okay, so now let me sharpen my knife. This is how you sharpen your knife correctly. Knife skills 101. You're not really sharpening the knife. You're honing the knife. This is called honing. You go back and forth a few times, two, three times. If the music is too loud, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so now we're done sharpening. I always want to wipe off the stuff like that. Okay. Now we're gonna cut up the garlic. I don't like a lot of garlic in my food, but I find it to be actually a little offensive because people over garlic their stuff. toss everything together after. So now I'm going to cut up a little more onion for flavor because I only cut up one small onion before. Watch your fingers. Ah! Ah! Okay. You always want to make sure you take off that outer tough skin. It doesn't taste good. It lacks that nice sweetness. I'm just going to rough chunk this up like this, throw it in, rough chunk this up like this, throw it in, we have our base. Now we have these beautiful, beautiful garlic, oh, let's just do this, garlic and cheese sausage from McKinnon's Meat Market in Everett, so we're going to just kind of Slice this on the diagonal. The meat's very tender. So you kind of have to be careful with your cutting. You don't shred it. So now that's two. Of course, I'm making enough food for us and the neighbors because they're starving after Sandra. We had had no tree damage. Thank God, minimal. But one thing we did lose was a lot of leaves. Not happy with that. So now, after we've cut up our beautiful garlic and cheese sausage, put this on the end like this. I'm gonna wash my hands for a second. Not prepared for the video, but I am washing my hands. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this oil on the sausage and some on that stuff too, the veggies, the root veggies. Now we're going to add a little bit of this, that, on the vegetables and a little bit of that, which I find this salt to be so freaking fabulous. It might look like a lot, but it's not because it's sea salt, which is much less salty. Not like the Morton's. We all know the Morton salt. So now I'm gonna give this a little toss with the olive oil like so. 
And then, as a finishing oil, I'm gonna add this $38 a bottle Spanish oil. Which, like I said, was rated the number one oil in Spain. Do a little bit, look at that color. Oh my goodness. And then, a little bit of this pimenton, which is like a smoked paprika. It's so freaking good, you gotta get it at Sur la Table. Wear a little of this for color on the fingerlings. Fingerling! Won't you do my little fingerling? So that's it. Ready for the oven which we will be baking this at 350 for about one hour. I just want to keep the meat and the veggies separate. And we're just going to coat this nicely. Oh my, look at this beautiful, beautiful garlic and cheese sausage. Oh my God, really? Okay. And these beautiful fingerlings, look at this. I mean, really? That's gorgeous. So, see you in about an hour.